where it begins, right here at this table, <laughs> this conversation. I met you through Friends in Music. I met you because you helped get me my first professional job in film. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> first union job. And I know Angela from high school. What? Yeah. We went to Pali Prep yeah. in Brooklyn. Whoa. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you're from New York, in order to survive, you gotta be creative and interesting. You could be broke, mm. but if you original and you're creative, like you're always gonna be all right. Yeah, and when you have like as big of like a theater scene here, music mm -hmm. scene, like there's so much stuff that draws and attracts people in like a history of that. Like you think about a neighborhood like Fort Greene, how for so long you had like jazz musicians mm -hmm. that were living there. Yeah. And then you have some musician now who's like, oh, I'd want to go live on the same street that Lionel Hampton lived on. Or, sure. There's a reason there are murals of like Biggie everywhere yeah. because people, they want that energy even if that energy may not exist on that block anymore. Right. They still want to feel like, I walk the same streets Biggie walked. Yeah, everybody takes that picture by yeah. that Biggie mural. And you're right, there's a lot of great like um, hip hop artists and artists in general, you know, from Brooklyn. But think about like some of the best ever, Jay-Z, Biggie, Little Kim, Foxy, you know, everybody's from Brooklyn. And people don't say I'm from New York if you're from Brooklyn, you say I'm from Brooklyn. Nobody's like, where's Staten Island? Right. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to that. Night. I definitely can't get in there. <laughs>